Simon, many congratulations. Off and running at the William Hill World Darts Championship. A fairly comprehensive victory. You must be over the moon. Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Exactly what you said. And uh, yeah, just shows all the hard work I've done in the last six weeks paying off. Going into the tournament, everyone was tipping you were the seed that was most in danger. Is it nice to go, I'm still here and I can still play this sport? Really? I didn't know that. I thought I was probably the favourite seed to go through the way I've been practising, so who cares? Is this a bit of redemption from last year as well when you lost 3-0 to Ryan Joyce at this stage? Yeah, you know what, I had a few problems last year. Um, I won't go too deep into it, but yeah, my darts weren't right last year and now they're perfect. When you win that um, comprehensively, does that give you the confidence to go on now and really build in this tournament? Yeah, definitely. You know, I was confident before I win the match and uh, I feel even more confident now playing so well. Missing the Grand Slam, I know you were really bit, bitterly disappointed. Did that give you the emphasis and the oomph that you really needed to push on here? You know what? That was a big changing point in my life because I was ready to retire in like two years and now after missing that, I was absolutely gutted, even though I hate the Grand Slam. I was gutted, but I've worked very hard ever since, over 100 hours practice, which might not sound a lot to a lot of people, but for me it's a lot. I can only do three to four hours a day uh, because of my ankle, but what I do in practice is very special. Is that nice to know as well, that you were that close to walking away and now that bug is there again? Yeah, you know, it's great, you know, I, I can't even believe that I was thinking of stopping because I still love the game so much. I enjoy darts, I go to little comps, I play weekly comps which, uh, you know, you can win 60 quid if, you, if you're good enough to win, but I just love darts, you know, I'll go anywhere. Everyone goes on about the youth, but does this show there's life in you old guards, old guards yet? Ah, oh, there's always life in us old guys, you know, but the youth are amazing now and, and so are every other players, you know. There's not one bad player in the World Championships now. Look at Fallon, I mean, she played amazing. She would have beaten a lot of players with the game she played. One eye back on that top ten in the world then, and this rejuvenated Simon Whitlock is here? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I've had a little rubbish run for the last two years. I can't believe I'm still number 14 after two rubbish years, but yeah, look out. Is ranking something that you look at then? I do actually, yeah. I, I still believe I'm top eight all, all day long, but you know, you have to prove that now and there's so many good players coming through, so it's hard work. We spoke back in the summer and you'd written off your chances of ever playing in the Premier League again because mm -hmm. of your age and your ranking. Yeah. Do you now believe you have a chance of getting back to play at the elite level? I do, but Premier League's not on my list anymore. I know they're not looking at me anymore. They're looking for the young young players, you know, and yeah, fair enough. And yeah, it's not on my list. Up next is a battle of the old guard, you against Mervyn King. I can <laughs> see by the smile on your face, you're looking forward to that challenge. Yeah, I love playing Merv. He is such a warrior. He's a great dart player. And yeah, we're going to have a good game. Simon, absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers, no worries. Simon, I knew the record against Harry was one all going into the match. Was that important for you to get the, to get the one up on him? Yeah, of course. I mean, Harry's a great player. The, the first time I played him, he beat me and he played absolutely brilliant. But then I turned the tables, played even better than the next time. And he's a little bit green, like playing on the TV. I, I watched his game and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll beat you, no problem. Do you think resilience was, no, do you think there would be more resilience from, from Harry going into that then? I thought he would play better than his first match, just having a win and the way he finished. The, his last set was very good when he won, but yeah, he didn't he didn't offer like he did in the other game. Mm. Experience a key factor then, that you feel? Absolutely, yeah. Experience means everything and, and he is a great player, honestly. He throws such a lovely dart and he's got a big future. Uh, Simon, you spoke about sort of lots of practice with somebody who looks at the rankings. You obviously saw a few big names go out with somebody who looks at the draw as well, see how opportunities may be open up for you. You know what, I didn't even look at the draw this year, but I, I realised after a couple of days before I'm playing Merv King, and then I don't actually know <laughs> after that, but sometimes I do look into the draw, but I'm not bothered this year because I believe in myself this year. And you don't have to go too far back to pedigree, you know, you've obviously had a tough couple of years, but you've obviously got pedigree at this tournament, you've spoken about your love of set play. Do you feel that gives you, maybe not an advantage, but something to, to take into those matches? 
I think most of all is confidence. If you go into a match confident, then you, you'll probably play your best darts. If you're negative, then you won't. And to be fair, this is the first year I've actually prepared since 2010. And some good memories, obviously. Yeah, definitely. And I've gone back to that, and I've been practicing the same routines, which I haven't done for 10 years. And it's making a difference, a big difference. Thank you.